Welcome! In front of me I have a Huawei Watch 5 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the crown button. Keep holding the button until you see the uh, Huawei logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. In the meantime, let's download the uh, Huawei Health application because I believe and this will be turning on for a while. So, on the Android phone it's a bit tricky because we need to first download the app gallery, Huawei app gallery, and then use it to download the Huawei Health application because on the, on the Google Play Store there is no Huawei Health or if there is one it's outdated and won't work. Okay, so to download the Huawei Health or other app gallery first, we need to use the web browser. I'm gonna open Chrome, but you can use any browser you want. In the browser you will need to uh, type in this address, appgallery.huawei.com. And once you type it in and tap on search, it should bring you, uh, actually, let's change it. It's going to be this, this address. And once you enter this page, you should see the main page of the app gallery uh, store or web page and on it there should be this download button right here and basically we need to tap on it to download the uh, Huawei uh, app Huawei app gallery so tap on this uh, button tap on install app gallery uh, I'm gonna tap on download again because I already have it downloaded so I'm gonna download again it's gonna start downloading and after it's done you'll see this pop-up right here at the top that it downloaded the file and you can tap on open if you miss the pop-up you can tap on menu button or more options button uh, and then tap on downloads and find the file somewhere here and tap on it and once you tap on the file you try to open it you will see this pop up on the screen and basically if you don't have the required permissions you will need to allow them so tap on settings allow uh, tap on the switch next to allow from this source and then you will see the pop up about the installation you can tap on install And once the app gallery is done installing, you will see the open button. You can tap on it to open the uh, Huawei app gallery. In the app, we can tap on next, agree, okay. And after some few seconds, basically you will, you will see the uh, Huawei app gallery homepage. Uh, you will see some permission pop-ups for the notifications. You can allow them or deny them. Next, we have the update for the newer version of the app gallery. You can tap on update to update it. I'm just gonna tap on later uh, because I don't need it now. Okay, and once you're in the app gallery, what you need to do is to tap on apps, tap on search and type in Huawei Health and then tap on search. And you should see this application right here at the top, Huawei Health, next to it there should be install button. What you need to do is to tap on this install button, tap on settings and you need to allow the installation from unknown apps for the app gallery as well. So tap on the switch, then go back, tap on install again. And after the application is done uh, downloading, you will see the pop-up about the installation, tap on install, and it's gonna start installing. After, after the Huawei Health uh, is done installing, you will see the open button next to it, so you can tap on it to open the app, or you can simply open it from the uh, app menu or something. Basically, you will see the icon and you can tap on it to open the Huawei Health application. And once you open the app for the first time, you will need to select a service region. And this part is also a bit tricky because I believe if you select uh, some regions, they don't support all of the features uh, in the app. So for example, you won't see watch watch face stores all stuff like that if you select a wrong region um, I'm gonna use the United Kingdom because I know this one works uh, normally so I don't need to change anything but you can uh, select something like I believe United States will be will be blocked because of the whole uh, Huawei ban in the United States so if you're in the United States I recommend to use different region uh, just in case and once you select the region, tap on next, next, agree. 
and then you will see this uh, pop up about the activity permission. If you want to use the health uh, features, you will need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Then we have the notifications. This is not required. You can allow it or deny it. And now you should see the health page of the app. Uh, once you see it, tap on devices icon and here tap on add device. Uh, allow the the, this permission is required and the app will start searching for the nearby devices. And if your watch is turned on, it should detect it. Oh no, never mind. First, we need to select the language. So go to your watch, scroll through the list of languages, look for the language you want to use, tap on it, and then it should be detectable. So if we tap on scan, oh, it, was, it will tell us to log in into a Huawei ID account. Okay, so as you can see, we need to log into an account. I don't... Uh, I do have an account already, but if you don't, tap on the register button, make a new account, and then use it to log in. I already have one, like I said before, so I'm gonna uh, enter the email address and password. And then I need to provide the code from the email address. Basically, you need to tap on get code. It will send you the code to, the, to your email address that is associated with your account. And you need to uh, enter it. I'm just gonna copy it and then paste it. And we're good to go. So paste the code and then we can tap on OK to log in. And after you log in, the app will uh, basically restart, as you can see. And now we need to tap on devices again, tap on add device. It will start scanning. It should detect your Huawei Watch 5. Once it does, tap on connect. For some reason, we need to uh, allow some more permissions. So tap on go authorize and allow the permissions. So tap on allow. And now it's connecting with the watch. If you see the pop up on the watch, tap on the check mark to confirm. Here, scroll down, check the box tap on next and right here you can enable uh, some enhanced services as you can see you have location services and uh, join the user uh, experience program I don't think they're required you can leave them uh, unchecked if you like to but if you want to you can also check them as well and then tap on next or can we just go next oh yeah we can uh, here we can uh, allow, un enable the auto download uh, updates over the Wi-Fi so if your watch or phone is connected to Wi-Fi, it will download the updates if there are any, if there's any automatically. You can check this box and then tap on continue. And here you can tap on done, continue. And right here we have notifications. Um, this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you do, you need to basically enable them right here. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed, for some reason I already do, but if you don't, it will uh, show you a pop-up on the screen. You need to tap on OK. And basically, it will redirect you to a different page. And on that page, you need to find the Huawei Health application. Tap on it. Then tap on the switch next to Allow Notification Access. And once you allow the notification access, you can go back. And you should be able to turn on the notifications normally. And here you can customize for e which apps the notifications should work for on your watch. And once you're done, you can tap on Done. Okay, then we have the location permission. It's not required, but you can also uh, allow it if you want to. And here we have a subscription stuff. I'm going to go back. The location permission, it's not required, like I said before, but it's useful if you want to, for example, use features like local weather, tracking your uh, route on the map and stuff like that. So allow it or deny it. Then we have the uh, pinch thing. So apparently they added the uh, pinching uh, gestures. 
So you have can you can tap on next and see how they work. Then we have the Huawei ID Sync. You can sync them with the other devices. If you want to, you can do it now by tapping on sync. If you don't care, you can tap on later. And I believe um, after that we should be done. Okay. So to sync, you need to log in to some in different accounts. So I'm not gonna do that right now. And as you can see, the watch is uh, working. We can go through the tutorial how to use it. And once you're done with the tutorial, come on, you should be able to see the watch face. Okay, press the crown, continue. Okay, and now we can see the watch face and our watch is working. And as you can see, it says connected as well in the app, which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.